America, a land of opportunity and diversity, boasts a multitude of cultures, landscapes, and experiences. From the bustling streets of New York City to the serene shores of Hawaii, the United States offers something for everyone. However, beneath the surface of this great nation lies a complex tapestry of challenges, including crime and violence that persist in certain regions. In this exploration, we delve into the top five most dangerous states in America, shedding light on the factors contributing to their precarious situations and the efforts underway to address them. Number five, Brazil. As the largest country in South America, Brazil boasts diverse landscapes, cultures, and opportunities. However, it also grapples with high levels of crime and violence, particularly in urban centers such as Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Drug trafficking, gang activity, and socio-economic inequalities contribute to Brazil's status as one of the most dangerous countries in the Americas, with high rates of homicide, robbery, and other crimes. Efforts to address crime and violence in Brazil have included measures such as increased policing, community-based interventions, and investments in social programs. Nevertheless, challenges such as police brutality, corruption, and systemic inequalities persist, undermining trust in institutions and hindering progress. As Brazil navigates its path forward, initiatives aimed at promoting social inclusion, strengthening democratic institutions, and addressing root causes of violence offer hope for a safer and more prosperous future. Number 4. Mexico Mexico, a country known for its rich cultural heritage and vibrant traditions, also contends with significant challenges related to crime and violence. Drug trafficking organizations, fueled by demand for illegal drugs in the United States, have long been a driving force behind Mexico's high levels of violence. In addition to drug-related crime, issues such as extortion, kidnapping, and human trafficking pose serious threats to public safety. Despite efforts by successive Mexican governments to combat organized crime and improve security, progress has been uneven, with violence continuing to plague certain regions of the country. Corruption within law enforcement agencies, weak judicial institutions, and socio-economic disparities have hampered efforts to address root causes and promote long-term stability. However, initiatives aimed at strengthening the rule of law, enhancing community engagement, and promoting economic development offer glimmers of hope amidst the challenges. Number 3. Venezuela in recent years, Venezuela has faced a multitude of crises, including political instability, economic collapse, and social unrest. Amidst these challenges, crime and violence have surged, earning the country a reputation as one of the most dangerous in the Americas. Widespread poverty, a lack of basic services, and political polarization have contributed to a deteriorating security situation, with high levels of homicide, kidnapping, and other forms of violence plaguing Venezuelan society. The Venezuelan government's response to crime and violence has been criticized for its heavy-handed approach, including allegations of human rights abuses by security forces. Meanwhile, efforts by civil society organizations and international partners to address root causes and promote dialogue have faced numerous obstacles. As Venezuela grapples with its ongoing crisis, the path to stability and security remains uncertain, underscoring the need for comprehensive and inclusive solutions. Number 2. El Salvador Like its neighbor Honduras, El Salvador faces significant challenges related to crime and violence. Gang violence remains a pressing concern, contributing to high homicide rates and widespread insecurity. Socio-economic factors such as poverty, unemployment, and limited access to education further compound these issues, disproportionately affecting marginalized communities. Efforts to address crime and violence in El Salvador have included measures such as targeted law enforcement operations, community policing initiatives, and programs aimed at gang rehabilitation and reintegration. While progress has been made in certain areas, persistent challenges, including corruption and institutional weaknesses, continue to impede long-term solutions. Nevertheless, the resilience of the Salvadoran people and the dedication of civil society organizations offer hope for a more peaceful and prosperous future. Number 1. Honduras Nestled in Central America, Honduras grapples with high levels of crime and violence, 
earning it the dubious distinction of being one of the most dangerous countries in the Americas. Gang activity, particularly by groups like MS-13 and Barrio 18, contributes significantly to the country's crime rate. Poverty, unemployment, and corruption exacerbate these issues, creating a cycle of violence that threatens the safety and security of Honduran citizens. Despite ongoing efforts by the government and international organizations to combat crime and improve socio-economic conditions, challenges persist. Weak institutions and a lack of resources hinder progress, while the pervasive influence of organized crime continues to undermine stability. Nevertheless, grassroots initiatives and community-driven interventions offer hope for a brighter future, emphasizing the importance of addressing root causes and fostering resilience within Honduran society.